Hello everyone, in this video, I'm going to install Docker Desktop in Linux Mint 22.1. So installing Docker, it's, it's nothing new. I've installed Docker in Windows and other distributions in Linux as well. But this time I faced a little bit of problem. So I thought you might be facing this problem as well. So let's document it. It's very easy to install Docker Desktop, but the documentation is slightly misleading. So let's try to do that. So first I will show you that uh, what kind of problem you can face and how you can resolve it. So ideally what I do, I just do docker desktop install. Okay. Since we are not looking for Windows, we are looking for Debian based system, which is your Linux Mint or Ubuntu based system. So if you just open up Debian. So if you see here, it says you need to have a genome terminal, okay, if you don't have it. So since we are using Ubuntu minimal setup in this video, if you are not installed it, check out my previous video. So since we are using it, it's already there, but anyway, we'll check it out. So I'm just opening a terminal here, okay, let's make, minimize it bit. So we already have installed genome, ter uh, genome terminal because we are using genome environment. So to install it, we just need to do update and then we just install the package by downloading the package. The problem with this installation that when you download the package, it does not download all the dependencies by itself. So if we do this, let's say if I'm downloading this package here, I'm downloading inside my downloads. Now let's do sudo apt update. Okay. And since we have downloaded the package in our download directory, so we'll do cd download. Okay. And inside download, we can check that we have this docker desktop dash amd64 Debian file. So if we just copy paste this command here, okay, this should install the package itself. But if you see here, it gives you the error, which is E colon, unable to connect, correct the problem, you have broken packages. Again, I'm using the official Docker documentation to install it. But why it's happening? Because it does not have uh, dependencies installed with it. You do need to do the step install app repository which people usually tend to avoid it with they just look at the code and they just install it so i have created a blog if you just follow the blog you will definitely will not hit this problem i'll post the link in the in the description as well this is in draft mode i'll post the actual link okay i mentioned it what are the difference between docker desktop and docker engine you can read it out if you'd like to do that if you're already aware of it it's it's okay so the next step why it's not working because it has missing dependencies it can be one of those reasons but ideally if we just follow this step most likely it's going to work out first thing first we need to make sure that our package list is up to date okay, okay i'll just open up the new terminal So when you do update, it works fine. The next thing is we need to install the required packages for our Docker desktop. So you can just copy this one. Okay. Yes. So this is one of the package which is, which is missing by default and it's not there. So we need to install the package as part of our uh, installation process. Then we have App Armor. Usually it's installed it, pre installed it as part of a Linux Mint, but anyway, we will do it just for the sake of it. As you can see, 
it's supposed to be installed but it's not so it's good idea to making sure that app armor it's installed okay So now the app armor is installed. The next step would be to make sure that Docker official GPU key it's it's uh, already there as part of your GPG keys and repository. Okay. So for that you are just going to just copy this command and paste it here. Another thing to notice here that uh, you need to in add the Docker official repository in order to uh, run the actual Docker desktop or download the repo, like all the dependencies, everything when you do like uh, DKPG or apt install, any one of those. If you notice here, I'm actually using Ubuntu Jami stable. Okay. Why is that? Because the Noble stable, it's uh, it still has some problem. I've seen that it does not work well. So that's how I'm going with uh, Jami stable. So once you update it, you should be able to say this line of code here, okay? And you just need to do sudo apt update. So if you receive any error here, that simply means that the repository has not been updated correctly. So just make sure that this works correctly. The next step is to download the docker desktop so you can just use this line of command to download the docker desktop or you can just go to actual docker desktop page and you can in install it from that i will post the link in the same content as well why it's better because you don't need to worry about downloading the latest version because it's downloading the latest version by default if you do this okay so since it's coming from official docker repositories Previously, there were different version mentioned and it's coming from the list. You can mention the version as well. But if you don't mention it, by default, it is downloading the latest version, which is available to us. So now the Docker desktop Debian file, it's downloaded. It is downloaded in our home directory as, well, as of now. Okay, And you can use sudo dpkg-i or you can just do it with the apt as well. Doesn't matter. Okay, so after a little bit of troubleshooting, I figured out that once you do the installation, okay, so after the installation, you will see some errors, most likely. What you need to do, you need to do the fix broken install, okay, it will give you in suggestion as well, if it happens, otherwise you can just install it and it works out of the box. So right now it is giving us an error. Okay. So what we need to do sudo apt fix store. Okay. So this will make sure that whatever is missing it's installed. By default it should do it. But if it's not doing it, then that's the way to fix it. Once you fix the whole thing, you should be able to run the dkpg command again and you should be able to get your uh, packages running. Okay, so let's wait for it. Okay, 
So all the dependencies are installed now. Now, if you run this, you should be able to install Docker Desktop. Okay. So it's installed. Let's look at the Docker version. So right now it's using the Docker engine version 28.1. So by default, since we are using Docker Desktop, Docker Desktop has a little bit advantage when it comes to comparing with Docker engine. Okay, what are the different advantage you can get it? So with Docker Desktop, you can get Kubernetes integration, volume management and Docker Compose installed as part of the process. But when you are doing Docker engine by default, it's just a CLI package. So it just installed Docker, nothing else with it. Although this is a graphical application, it might not be good for some purpose. This one has a little bit more versatile approach. But if you are a new user, I would highly recommend to go with Docker desktop than just Docker. But yes, I would highly recommend as well that you learn Docker engine or Docker itself. So these are some different thing and you can also check the Docker Compose as well. Okay. Since we are in, a, we have installed Docker desktop, it should install Docker Compose as well. Okay. If you are going with just Docker, it does not do Docker Compose as well. Okay. Now let's look at the actual Docker desktop interface. Just to set. Okay. So you don't need to create an account. If you want to create it, you can. Okay, now I'm just skipping it. Okay, so Docker desktop it's running. You can see we have containers here, image here, volume, builds, all of this thing. Ideally, what you want to do, you can go to images. You can search for the image which you are looking for. Okay. And then we can go from there. So in the next video, I will show you how you can install Anatend with localhost. It's a totally self-hosting. And uh, you can also connect it with Cloudflare uh, tunnel as well. So do check out the next upcoming video. That's everything for this video. If you like my content, please do like, share, subscribe, comment. Okay. And I'll be posting video twice a week at least. I'll try to post it. So that's it for today and see you in the next video.